everyone, welcome back to my Smile Co. Today I'm going to share with you how I personally got into dental school. So as some of you may know, I will be attending Loma Linda School of Dentistry this August and I'm more than excited to start this new chapter. We need to take our science prerequisite courses. That's going to be general chemistry, organic chemistry, general bio, and physics. And I really focus hard on these classes because having a strong science GPA demonstrates your candidacy as an excellent student. Also focus on your other courses because it will contribute to your cumulative GPA. If you have other interests aside from science, don't feel bad. Really explore your other interests, whether it's economics, finance, political science, etc. You can major in anything else and still take your science prerequisite core classes. I studied international development, which was this interdisciplinary major that pulled from global studies, economics, etc. and did not major in anything science. I ended up taking a majority of my science prerequisites even after I graduated from UCLA. You need to look into what schools you're thinking about applying to because they are going to acquire other additional prerequisites such as microbiology, biochemistry, etc. See what schools require, what they don't require, see if they appreciate more research versus volunteer hours, etc. I would say apply to around 10 schools I think is is average and reasonable. You definitely want to keep your options open. Obviously, the more schools you apply to, the more chances you get in to a dental school. Additionally, admissions will be looking at your community service. So for me, I took on a few roles. One of them included being a project manager at the United Nations San Diego chapter, where I created a partnership with the International Rescue Committee, and I was able to mentor and tutor high school refugee students. Because my background comes from golf, I wanted to give back to the game that had given me so much. So I became an ambassador for the Pro Kids First Tee program, which helped provide resources for students to excel in both school and sport. Aside from that, I also volunteered for the UCSD Pre-Dental Society, where I dental assisted at various clinics around the county and witnessed firsthand dental procedures, and I felt like that really solidified my passion for dentistry. Another great way to stand out when you're applying to dental school is showing what extracurricular activities and hobbies you're interested in and passionate about. So for me, I love being outdoors, staying active, I like going on hikes, being in the ocean, going surfing, learning how to ski or snowboard. Uh, aside from playing golf, emphasize the fact that I really just enjoy doing things with my hands. During COVID, I learned how to knit. I spent some time painting and playing better piano. I believe that the culmination of all of these activities and interests and pastimes really enhanced my resume and made it more holistic and demonstrated my uniqueness aside from the normal conscientious student. I was also super insecure about the fact that I wasn't the traditional student that majored in biology and chemistry, got good grades, got a good DAT score, did a lot of research. I, for one hand, graduated UCLA back in 2015. I'm pursuing dentistry a little bit later than, than most students. I questioned, am I too old for this? Is, you know, I worried about all the judgment surrounding me, but at the end of the day, I knew this is what I wanted to do. And the more I immersed myself within the field of dentistry, whether it was dental assisting, working as office manager, and exposing myself to the field, the more confident I felt like th that this was the right path for me. Got good enough grades, got a good enough DAT score, evidently was confident in her manual dexterity, and I came from a more holistic background, and I was able to gain true professional life experience before delving my head back into the books and knowing that I came from a more mature place uh, when starting dental school. I think admissions appreciate that they see this commitment in a student who has been five years removed from studies going back and getting even better uh, grades in the science courses than she did in undergrad. Always put your best foot forward, whatever it is. I know it's so easy to succumb to the pressure and feel a lot of anxiety, stress, worry about whether you will or will not get in and what you can do to improve. And I'm speaking from experience because I've been in the same boat, I would say. This time last year, I was super stressed, super worried, was coming up with plan Bs in case I didn't get into dental school, which is crazy to think about now that I look back and I wish I had salvaged all that time and wasted energy spent on worrying because you know that you can always focus on what you can, can control and that's your mindset and a positive, confident belief that you can do it and that you're enough and that you're able and capable. And I also want to give credit to faith and, and prayer and believing in God and, and just seeking his guidance from above really helped, you know, solidify that this was the right path for me and that I should stick with it. And I'm glad that everything worked out in the end. That's all for now. I encourage you to continue trusting in the process, 
be confident, put your best foot forward and have faith and in the end everything will work out. If you have any other questions or things you'd like me to talk about, I'm here for it. Just let me know. You can email me at info at mysmile.org. See you next time.